long awaited Iowa caucus results are here. Let's dive right into it and see what the results are. As you can see, this is just a visual graphics of the results. And let's de dive deep into this now. Mayor Pete and Senators Bernie. They are really neck and neck. It's just a razor edge, razor thin margin between Mayor Pete and Senator Bernie. And as we can see, Senator Elizabeth Warren is lagging behind. And we're going to come back to Joe Biden a bit later. But upon looking at this, I mean, my gut reaction to the other side is the candidates that got 0%. And I would, I would advise Michael Bennett, Michael Bloomberg, John Delaney, and apparently John Delaney has, but Tulsi Gabbard and Deval Patrick to just drop out. I mean, if you cannot get one at Iowa at this a stage, then there's no point for you to go any further. And if you get exactly the same results in New Hampshire, just just we just honorably bow down and leave. I mean, there is no point for you to stay at that point. I mean, <clears throat> we've got people uncommitted and people are choosing other over you guys at this point. So, no, no, no you, you've lost. The boat is gone for you guys. Maybe next election. So who were the winners of the Iowa caucus? <clears throat> <clears throat> and the winner of the Iowa caucus is Donald Trump. He, he manages to win where, I mean, he won the Republican easily, but in the Iowa caucus, it seems that Donald Trump was the real winner of this whole mess. I mean, it, it, the Democrats just couldn't give him a better present than screwing up their first caucus. Of course, the second winner in this case would be the DNC. And they won because... Mayor Pete got the lead, who is a established candidate. Let's check the losers. Bernie Sanders, because in all this chaos, he, he has definitely lost a momentum that he could have gained going forwards. But all is not lost. Bernie has New Hampshire coming and hopefully he'll win and probably gain his momentum. And of course, Joe Biden, who has lost the inevitability in this race. I mean, before the Iowa caucus, it seemed that Joe Biden would have been somewhere close to the top, not too far away. You know, even if he came at fifth, if he was two to three percent behind Bernie Sanders, it would have been better than being where he is right now looking at the result. Those kinds of results should just put the Joe Biden campaign in a full panic mode. They, they, they need to do something. Otherwise, they will lose. At this rate, I think they will they will lose even before the Super Tuesdays. If, if this continues, the Super Tuesdays will be a crushing defeat for Joe Biden. He's got a long way to go to fix his campaign. And he's got enough problems that now he has to add this to his long list of problems. The pollsters were, I, I mean, they were wrong in 2016 and they seem to be going, they, they seem to have not learned any lesson from the 2016. They continue to be wrong 
even into 2020. It's been four years. They could have fixed it. But for whatever reason, they just don't seem to be interested in getting their act together. It is awful. If they continue like this, this this is going to be the end for all the pollsters. They're just going to have to... They need to start looking for other jobs at this point. If they're going to just do the same... If they're just going to continue to not get the mood of the public right. And of course, the Democrat... Iowa caucus was the biggest losers. Everyone from left to right is looking at this and they're going and the word dumpster fire is being used by for the Democrat Iowa caucus. It is literally like well not literally but people are figuratively they are saying this is a big this is a disaster just unmitigated disaster so going forward in the future what what can we well based on what has happened now what do we expect in the future it seems that the Iowa caucus is just going to become irrelevant for the future. It, it, it's just going to become irrelevant. And the New Hampshire, the reputation for that has is going to gain. I mean, come in 2024, people are not going to even pay attention to Iowa caucus. Eyes are going to be on New Hampshire as being the first state that will determine the mood and the temper, temp, uh, the, con- the temperament of the and uh, for the future future i mean people are going to look at the new hampshire's result and then they're going to make uh, future predictions and of course if the posters continue to do a bad job they're just going to lose their jobs now they, i think they should just lose they sh- they should just quit they, they're not polling they're just not doing polling as it should be done right they need to fix their method now before i go i just want you to look at this and i think that bernie sanders has got some of his momentum back and i think he will probably get more momentum coming once the new hampshire result well once the new hampshire votes not even the results and then based on the results, I think Bernie Sanders could gain a momentum. But we'll have to wait. And then I'll probably post another video for New Hampshire. Well, these are my thoughts of the Iowa caucus. The complete disaster that it was. I'll see you in the next uh, next video.